Hey everyone, what's going on? Back for another Civrev video. And this time, I really always, this is a video I always wanted to do. I always wanted to do a uh, Oxford Bombers video. And uh, it's kind of technical strategy that you can use in a mid to late game. I'm going to go with Chinese since they're good at getting technology. And, uh, Hopefully I don't screw this up. Make sure my controller's plugged in. Uh, basically it's a uh, way to leapfrog way ahead in the technology tree to get bombers uh, around the time in the game when you should really be thinking about getting tanks. Uh, so it's just a really interesting strategy to surprise your opponent. Um, I've done it once or twice. Uh, it's not a super common strategy just because most games don't even last that long if you play multiplayer but any regardless it's still fun to try even against the computer hmm well I know where I'm planting could go hyper aggressive and try to run all over the place but I think this spot right here looks pretty good so got two water three trees See, now this is an actual decision now with the Chinese, because if you say yes, you're going to lose one population. Now that's a big deal here, so I'm actually going to say no. I want the three population, man. And that's actually, I think, the only civilization you have to think about that, because uh, it's nice to have that early explorer, but it may not amount to having three builders, you know, if you got three trees like this, this is a nice setup. So this is what you really want with the Chinese. So I already got a guy out in 3700. Hopefully I get some gold out of this and not some crap. Barracks, I don't need that. Uh, okay, Ark of the Covenant, don't really need that, but okay. No, actually, this could be a good building city. I got marble right here and a uh, mountain. Could think about that, but it looks like I'm going military in this game, so it may not matter. Um... So, I know that's there, so I know we got some kind of coastline going on. That may have been the wrong decision. Let's go back here. Oh no, am I on the island? I hope not. I'm on like the weirdest peninsula I've ever seen. Where is that? Maybe that doesn't end right there. I don't know, we'll see what's going on here. If I could actually get some gold. That's yeah, a pretty weird layout. Of course, the river is blocking me off from getting that. That's just one more thing to slow me down. Yeah. I don't know what's going on down here. Looks like I have a really awesome choke point. If I wanted to do that. How about... I don't know, 50 gold? 
Alright, 30. So it looks like we're finding some barb huts. That's good. Nothing over here, man. Mm. <laughs> okay. So I'm just way over here by myself. Very strange. Very strange. You know. I may only go three armies on this one. Nice. Every need every scrap of gold I can get here. I'm gonna keep these warriors spread out, at least for now. Uh, I, I really believe there's a name tile somewhere around here, so I'm gonna go check. It's one of these guys. I need all the gold I can get right now. Um, production's pretty good, so I'm not too worried about that. This is this train is gonna kill me? What I do need is a boat, actually. Rough terrain. All right, here we go. I may load up a boat full of warriors, just because I'm in such a strange spot, and I know there's five artifacts, so it may be worth it. There we go. Tucked away. Can't do it. Gotta heal up. Uh, I got a few huts. Hopefully I get something good here. build the boat yet? Nope. Alright, so, 36 gold, have no idea where anybody is. I've been all over the place, I think. Flying around this peninsula? Doesn't matter, I have no idea where anyone is. Uncivilized. Uh, another 30 gold, some more huts. Alright. I'm gonna form them up. Um, Alright. Gonna go for technology. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these hammers. I'm gonna build up some hammers, it looks like. Gonna send him around the cape here. Hope for the best.
Uh, this 30 gold stuff isn't cutting it. be nice to take out a Roman city and get code, code of laws. I don't see that really happening. I, just, I gotta have like, so much distance between them and myself. have a lot of ground to cover. Hell, I won't have any hard time expanding. I'm just surrounded by tons and tons of land. I may keep these guys separate just in case uh, so I can hit multiple tiles at once stuff like that looking for name tiles I'm actually gonna go ahead and get try to get this gold milestone just because there's not a lot going around around here pretty uh... <laughs> that's probably the most spread out I've ever seen that's about as spread out as you're going to get. And you got to remember, I actually ran towards them, and it didn't even matter. Can you imagine if you tried running around to find another Civ? I mean, you'd be running forever. You'd never find them. That's why that's such a risky strategy, trying to run your little settlers around, trying to find dudes to attack. Oh, there's Atlantis. Computer does a pretty terrible job of taking. I mean, look, this guy's got a hut two tiles away, and he's too lazy to go get it. What a joke. Eh, could go get that Ark of the Covenant, but it's not really worth that much. Gives you a little culture. It's not that great. It's good if you have, like, a lot of cities and then you pick it up. It's like a Pretty good in that regard, I guess. Uh, code of Laws. There we go. Looks like the Romans are finally getting that little hut. They have money, too. Let me sell them alphabet. I'm not giving them writing, that's just too much. Makes me a little nervous. That's actually not even a. It's not a guaranteed victory against those barbarian huts at this point. Sad to say. 
So let's see. Where shall I plant? Here looks good. A lot of good little spots. This is probably the best one. Oh no. Here's the best one. So I'll go with that. Weird game, weird game. Right now it's just a race to uh, Kota. Yeah, there they go. Oh, the Arabs. I was just checking up on you. I'm not going to get that quite yet. Hey, look at that. Gonna have to be careful here. High percentage win, but uh, you can actually lose these 1 to 0.5. Once you hit the year 2000, it's an important thing to know. Five artifacts. I have no idea what's over here. They probably get money. Not get them writing though. Maybe wise to bring this guy back. Actually, need him. So those are going to uh, set me up for 10 beakers per turn, get me to Kota Laws relatively quickly, and I might as well just get the temple right now. Hope I win these. Make sure everything's squared away. Looks good.